Did you know that a professional thinks owning Tesla stock carries a significant risk? While many people have a positive outlook for Tesla and its shares, others think that the company's steady expansion will soon come to an end. This is one that you most definitely don't want to miss. The largest hedge fund in the world, run by billionaire Ray Dalio, sold its Tesla holdings in the middle of May. The hedge fund sold every one of the 25,488 Tesla shares it owned, which were led by Elon Musk. According to Bridgewater's previous regulatory filings, the hedge fund had 25,488 Tesla shares at the end of the previous year. American billionaire investor Raymond Thomas Dalio, better known by his stage name Ray Dalio, is a hedge fund manager and co-chief investment officer of Bridgewater Associates, the largest hedge fund in the world. Formerly seen as a Tesla bull, Dalio is now publicly endorsing Chinese electric car manufacturers. Dalio released a piece titled The Changing World Order is Approaching Stage 6, The War Stage, on November 1st. According to Dalio, a domestic and or international conflict could break out in the United States. Owning Tesla stock could prove to be quite risky if this occurs. The impact on Tesla stock prices could be minimal in the event of a civil war in the United States. It is entirely different when it comes to an international conflict. Tensions between nations will undoubtedly arise in the event of an international war, which will make it extremely challenging for multinational businesses like Tesla, for example, to conduct business domestically. Be aware that Shanghai and Berlin are home to Tesla's production facilities. If that occurs, Tesla might have to shell out a lot of money to stay in business in China. For instance, this is most likely the reason why Dalio, a former investor in Tesla, chose to concentrate on Chinese EV manufacturers instead. But if the tensions are rising and there's going to be a capital war, which usually precedes the real war, then it does make sense to put more money into those other companies and less into Tesla. Additionally, Dalio noted that there are now classic indicators that indicate a military conflict is imminent, such as the use of existentially threatening economic warfare. The recently enacted U.S. bill, for instance, has the potential to shut off natural gas to Europe and China from receiving necessary semiconductor chips. This is comparable to the U.S. shutting off oil to Japan in 1941, which prompted the Japanese to bomb Pearl Harbor. Additionally, there are the traditional large spikes in defense spending that usually precede hostilities. To put it plainly, a conflict, whether domestic or global, does not appear good from every angle, and Tesla is no exception, even if it qualifies as a large business. In other news, Tesla's stock fell around 50% from its peak in mid-October as part of a larger sell-off in the U.S. stock market that has severely impacted technology and growing businesses. The decline coincided with a broader market collapse as investors, already prepared for the effects of increasing prices and higher interest rates, were alarmed by the prospect of an economic shutdown. Without a doubt, Tesla faces a lot of challenges. First, third quarter vehicle deliveries suffered from logistical issues and some analysts cautioned that the companies. Automobiles rising costs would eventually affect demand. Additionally, COVID-19 lockdowns in the city have caused difficulties at Tesla's Shanghai manufacturing. The business, like practically every other automaker in the world, has also had to contend with a shortage of raw materials and an increase in their cost. Additionally, the stock has been negatively impacted by Tesla CEO Elon Musk's highly publicized attempt to first purchase Twitter, then back out of the agreement, and then buy it again because of worries that he is overstretched across too many ambitious and difficult projects. Even in the absence of the prospect of war, some analysts advise against owning Tesla stock for these reasons alone. Investing in Tesla shares carries a number of significant risks, according to Sean Ross and Investopedia. To start with, Tesla vehicles are still too costly. The high cost of Tesla's Model S remains a barrier for prospective buyers, even with hefty government incentives like tax rebates for alternative technology. For most drivers, Tesla's new, less expensive Model 3 remains unaffordable. In addition to being pricey for buyers, the cars are expensive for Tesla to produce. According to Gordon Johnson, an analyst at Vertical Group, the business loss. T around $14,000 for every Model 3 vehicle it sold in 2018. Though if the business grows, these numbers might get better. Second, Tesla's battery might run out. Lack of batteries to power their devices was one of the first issues Tesla executives faced. Tesla, however, has a number of strategies in place to deal with this particular issue. Third, more competition for electric cars. Tesla appears to be the most successful automaker to date, despite not being the first to produce electric vehicles. 
Due to their expensive suggested retail prices and short driving ranges, two well-known rivals, the Nissan Leaf and the Chevrolet Bolt, were unable to acquire traction at first. Moreover, a number of other businesses, including Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Subaru, Ford, and BMW, want to join the electric vehicle industry in the upcoming years. This could lead to some competition for Tesla's market share. Several other firms might also enter the battle. Both Google and Apple Inc. have stakes in the automotive sector and think they can compete with Tesla in that space. It also seems like a big risk to have Elon Musk as CEO of Tesla. According to Ross, Tesla acknowledged its reliance on Elon Musk in an SEC filing. Elon Musk, the techno king of Tesla and our CEO, is absolutely essential to Tesla, the business stated. The moment the second week of November arrived, Tesla's stock fell below $200. Apart from the fact that Tesla is already addressing COVID-19 related problems at its most productive plant in Shanghai, China, there are additional variables that are impacting the company and have caused a decrease in the shares. As of November 7th, the stock has reached its lowest level in 18 months. Tesla shares were down 5% at 8.43 a.m. Despite recent upgrades that increased the plant's capacity to produce around 1.1 million cars annually, Barron's reported that in October, Tesla shipped 71,704 electric vehicles, a decrease from the record 83,135 supplied in September. Productivity has suffered as a result of China's stringent COVID-19 restrictions, which have led to lockdowns throughout the region. This has affected Chinese consumer demand as well, which may be contributing to Tesla's latest price reduction for Chinese customers. Nevertheless, factors unrelated to the company itself may also be impacting Tesla shares. Even if Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has taken over Twitter, investors may not be too concerned about it. Musk borrowed money to purchase Twitter, so interest will need to be paid from the company's cash flow or another source. A number of businesses have said that they will stop running advertisements on Twitter until the social media platform's future course is more apparent. Lower cash flow could result from this, and Musk might have to use his own money to pay the debt interest. For Tesla shareholders, the issue is that Musk may need to liquidate more of the company's stock in order to raise immediate funds. That might be the current factor affecting Tesla stock, or it might be the attempt of other shareholders to attain such capacity. Tesla is ranked among the top 50 firms by Global Data, a London-based data analytics and consulting firm, and has a moderate risk profile based on its in-house risk assessment of the vehicle maker manufacturing sector in the automotive industry. The company's overall risk score was reinforced by the industry and country risk pillars. The company's well-established market position is one of its strengths, but low profitability and a high debt load could be cause for concern. Overall, purchasing Tesla stock has a number of extremely high risks. Naturally, investing is a risky endeavor overall. There are hazards associated with everything that provides a very high return. As of right now, EV stocks are trading at $197.08 per share, so long-term investors shouldn't be concerned about the price dropping below $200. In fact, this might be an excellent opportunity to establish a stake at a lower price for investors who plan to hold Tesla shares for years to come. Investors bear the risk in the event of a potential conflict, whether domestic or global, they would be the only ones to decide whether to sell or keep their holdings. For a fantastic opportunity to receive updates on new content about Tesla stocks, subscribe to this channel.